All right, welcome back. I think I'm gonna dub this one the Fanatic episode and you'll see why in a sec, but we've got another knife here. And this one's kind of funny because it's definitely a, I don't know if I'd call it a nice to have, but like a demonstration of where my head's at. So, oof, what a nice cut, nice cut, 80-20.5, doing its job and always. <clears throat> um, so this is a, oh, this is cool. I forgot about this actually. So let me get some of this junk out of here real quick off scene. Where can I put this? All right. So this is um, another Gemco. And it came with some, oh, there are two. Oh, that's right, two boxes. I remember why. I remember what the story was. This one came with some uh, original goat scales on it. <clears throat> and here are the factory. This is an 8020. Let's see. Oh, so this is, I think, the original box. <clears throat> and I guess it got damaged. So Demco sent them another one, but this is an 80-20, and uh, the original scales are black drivery, um, which I have an 80-20 in black drivery, but it's a used one. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, still getting used to this new uh, situation over here. Uh, this one is CPM 20V. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Let's get this box back together over here. Let's take this one out of the scene. And careful does it when opening these Demco boxes. Super easy to tear them. Can't really find the one that wants to pop out. Uh, none of these do right now. I've normally find one a little quicker, but this one's got, this one's going to take a little trickery. I'm going to take it off camera here, get it right. There we go. Boom. All right. So, ooh, wow, those are really nice. You know, I have another set of original goat scales, and uh, I gotta say that the titanium ones here are even another step up from the aluminum ones that I have. Um, but this one is like one of the originals, and let's see if I can get that on camera there. It's a 3V, which I've really been wanting to get an 8020 3V because I feel like Demco loves 3V. And it, just makes for a really cool example. This one is silky smooth. Ooh, that is nice. Man, some of them are just, and I don't know, I'll have to double check if this one has like uh, skiff bearings in it or something. I don't think so. I don't see a second set of bearings here. But man, that is nice. And these uh, scales are super nice. So they are full titanium, which would be uh, equivalent, you know, if you're familiar or watch some of my videos, I'll show you here on the lightweight titanium, they, uh, you know, mill out quite a bit of material there. Let's see if I can get that all zoomed in properly for you. Focused. That was an 8020S, but these are full slabs. So this is a heavy specimen. Like, I don't think my seven ounce scale will be able to even register this one if I were to guess. I got my other scale in the other room, but yeah, that's an error. <laughs> so with the factory um, scales, you're at 6.22 with the uh, original goat tie. <laughs> It's, that's getting into the, you know, it's probably a seven and a half ounce knife or something. Feels beastly over here. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a new in box example, aside from having been switched to the uh, to the original goat scale. So I guess you wouldn't call it a new in box example anymore. It's a like new in box example. But let's see if I can get some focus on this beauty here. And I've talked about it before, I'll say it again. Their tumbled finish is really sweet. So nice. And then here's a little look at those original goat scales. It wears them well. But I'm going for the original original. <laughs> so I'm going to swap those out throw these original G10s on. And if someone's interested, I will be selling these for less than retail price. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. So let's see, that is my third 8020. These are by far the hardest to find and track down and stuff. Um, so to get a third one is very exciting. This one was resharpened. You can actually see the difference. It's quite a big difference in the uh, factory edge versus what the uh, individual I bought it from put on. You can see it's a really long edge that they put on there. And it's not as consistent throughout the knife. It's not terrible, it does a job, but that was the big driver for me to get a uh, an original or I should say a non-sharpened one because this one's not sitting here original at all. Boy, I gotta say though, those uh, scales feel darn good. Original Goat did a really nice job on. They're not the factory like design. They're actually the opposite, I think. The factory sticks up and these stick down. Like they're carved out instead of I don't know how best to describe it, but maybe I can show you there. You can see the diamonds are carved in here versus they're carved out two diamonds here, I think is the best way to put it. Because I found that these are lighter than the uh, regular ones. I think they take almost the same titanium and carve it out to the diamond as opposed to the other way around, like starting with the thicker one, cutting it down to the same. I'm pretty sure they like kind of cut this out. I'm not 100% sure how it's done. I should try and see if I can get a hold of one of the Demcos or something and or someone at Demco and get some more info on their processes. But um, yeah, this is a, another cool one. What do I have in here? Original go. Oh, look at that. They do have, oh, that's interesting. Washers. Huh, what's going on with that? Let's see what else we got in here. I feel like there's something else. I spoke too soon, potentially, on the washers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that's interesting. So I'll, maybe that is, uh, maybe that would explain the action, but that's confusing me because I thought I don't see like a set of original bearings. I see washers. It says force gifts though on it so that's interesting and then these as you can see you get that sort of two-thirds steel inlay on the factory ones the factory ones are not milled out in any way on the g10 so they're i don't know if i'll call it like a full weight g10 or what you want to call it but Yeah, super clean. Um, so I'll have to look at what's going on with the, I've never seen washers. I don't know if you could run this knife on washers, but it came with 
a set of washers. So that's interesting. So I'll have to break this thing open and uh, see what's going on inside of it. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, get everything cleared out here so we have plenty of room. And let's see what's going on with this knife. I think on these 8020s, the hardware is even easier to work on than on the uh, 8020.5, but I could be wrong. I thought it was uh, maybe all T10, but I'm wrong. Grab some other tools here. But I think these might be eights back here. Yeah, whereas they're T6 on the uh, 8020.5, they're T8 on the 8020, so that's nice. Gosh, I gotta say though, that is really nice. Like that is tempting to maybe just leave those original goat on there. I definitely see why people go for these. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot a shark lock spring across the room here. You're always getting it live on this channel. My brother got a hold of some of my videos yesterday and said I should get a hand model to do the uh, job here. We are definitely not here to show off the manicure. Oops, sorry. I'm just gonna attend to the three-year-old real quick who's coughing. Sorry about the delay. And let's see if we can Avoid shooting the shark lock out. Um, so I think, let's see, how can I do this? Got it. All right. I said shooting the shark lock. I meant the spring from the shark lock. So I don't know. I don't know if those are, if they just do different bearings on the, uh, no, those look like factory original. So I don't know what's going on with these washers. That's funny. Hardened. Huh. For Maybe I'm reading that wrong and it says something else, but anyway, let's put this beautiful blade right here. Man, that thing is really impressive. Um, let's get the hardware out of here. So this is kind of my process is to try and keep everything in order and direction so it all goes right back where it belongs. So, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot that that's how these are tightened in here, so these are going to have to, but let me, uh, I try to even use the same, I'm sure these are all exactly the same, but I try and put them in the same place and stuff when I do this, so that they don't mismatch. Now I've noticed on the 8020.5, that one is different size than the other ones. Let me see if that's the case. Oops, I'm doing this off screen right now, my bad. Let me move everything back on the screen here. Again, still getting used to this new setup and I am looking around the side right now of a camera tripod, so. Huh. So these ones are interchangeable. At least the last one I checked on the 8020.5, one of these was, maybe it's these two that aren't interchangeable and those two are, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, it seemed interchangeable on this knife. So not sure what I was uh, perceiving on the other one, but anyway. All right, so that will just come right out of there and go right into here. 
get this bearing over here. The bearings are way more robust on this 8020 than on the uh, 8020.5 too, which is nice. The bearings on the 8020.5 are pretty puny. Um, I want to say on the 8020S too, so I think these bearings are different than on both those other models. So let's get this up here. Shark lock in place. Now we'll get these removed really quickly. Sorry, this is turning into a longer video than I expected, but hey, a little bit of a different theme for this video. I don't see a lot of people doing a lot of content on taking Demcos apart, so why not? What? Why not try something a little different and new or whatever? I'm definitely not thinking this through all the way, so let me do this the easy way here. Um, yeah. All right. Boom, boom. And we'll keep this all in order. If everything goes well. So it's kind of cool. These are directional because it lets you take one side off without using a tool on the other side. <laughs> But it does mean that you also need to put these in correctly. Actually, it looks like these ones aren't on the other knife it is. Some some of them are, some of them aren't. Um, and then the last one here. funny I totally planned to swap this out but as soon as I got that in hand I have to say I was very tempted to leave these in place they're really nice way nicer than I expected it to feel very tempting so if you're looking to swap them out original goat is doing a very very nice job there give them a little Love here. Boom. A little advertising on the channel. All right, so now comes the semi tricky part. So we go, let's put this on first, and then that. And what we'll do is I was thinking I'll sandwich this instead of trying to pick it up and tighten the back side. This will go a lot better. Oh, probably want to put the spring in. That'll that'll certainly make the knife work a lot better. Let's see if I can you now finagle this out without disrupting everything I just did. Almost. You know, maybe I'll put a touch of oil on there too. While we're at it, not hurt. Let's do that since maybe they took some of the original oil off. Okay, that's really all it needs. That will get spread around by the bearings. And then same thing here. Boom. And then spring. So I don't I, I found that if I put in that side first, I tend not to have it flip out as much. I don't know why, but I go like that. I let it arch 
don't know if you can see that, but I let it arch. And then I just push it in like that. And actually, since this one has the liner, I can just throw the liner on there as a stopping mechanism from that flying out. And then I can throw the scale on there. And it'll just all snap in if I did it right. Get it sandwiched, work it around a little bit. And then I'll throw the uh, pivot screw in first so that nothing flies out. And then I'll work on the back hardware. And I don't tighten anything down until all the hardware is in and things are really nicely lined up. I'm just putting this in to hold things together until I get all the hardware in. And we'll start on this side since it's facing up, but I could start on either side. Probably not be super conscious of what I'm making it easy for you to see or not see, so sorry about that. Okay, again, not tightening anything down yet. Just getting it in place. Getting the knife lined up and fitting together well. And if you do all that and then you tighten it down, I tend to find things work a little better. So I just get them snug to the point where I feel like some resistance. And I just go to the next one. Which may or may not be best practice. I don't know. But I have found that my knives go back together really well when I do it that way. Okay, almost done. Okay, what do we got here? One, two, three. And this was, oh, you've probably been watching this going, this idiot. <laughs> wow, which one popped out of there? The bottom one? Oh, I didn't, maybe I just didn't even put it back in. That's probably been pretty entertaining for someone watching this. Not super stoked on my end, but you know what I can do? I can actually leave these in now. So I'll leave these in. <clears throat> I'll just take out the main pivot bearing because I already have these three out. Okay, go ahead. to further make this video interesting or boring, depending on how you look at it. Uh, so I, I think I've said it a few times on some of my videos, I can do one thing at a time. Uh, and clearly that has manifested itself here because I forgot to put the bearing back in while I was doing all that yapping and talking. Sorry about that. A little three-year-old maintenance over here as well. So let's switch it over to this side now. We should just be able to, it might help to like kind of push this out from this side, but you know what? I might just do this the hard way. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one the hard way, unfortunately. So, just to be safe, you know, like I think with an 80, 20.5, $150 knife right away available on the market, I'll force things a little bit there and uh, just make it work. But I really don't want to scratch anything here or potentially damage anything. So sorry for the super long video. YouTube's going to hate it too. <laughs> but. Um, 
hopefully mildly entertaining to see me leave a bearing out of a knife. Um, you know, I just gotta work this back off and try not to launch that pivot lock or pivot uh, or um, shark spring out while I do it. Which is somewhat inevitable, unfortunately. I think I've done one disassembly where the spring didn't go crazy on me somewhere. <laughs> this thing is really tight right now. There we go. Sometimes I just manipulate it a little bit like that to get things where they need to go. And what might help here is to just get, there we go. My finger pinched on that. Look at that, spring didn't fly out or anything. And now we can get the, bearing on there. There we go. All right. Where were we? Oh boy. All right. Standoff screwed in first. One, two, and three. Now we can swap this guy and get the pivot hardware in. so things stay a little loose and follow my own instructions and uh, I think this <laughs> I'm a little off today I guess because I forgot to put my carry clip in. So I was rushing it and threw the hardware in on the wrong side. So sorry, this is the blooper video apparently. But it just goes to show certainly a process to putting these things together. And we'll try that one more time. It's funny, as I was doing it, I was like, huh, this is weird. I'm doing the pivot side, but also these standoffs kind of detected I was putting the standoff screws into the wrong side, but couldn't register it while talking on the video. Sorry, are we having fun yet? I enjoy this stuff. I don't mind working on a Demco a little more time, but I imagine it doesn't make riveting television. All right, springs in. New scales are on. Everything's coming together. Yeah, this is what I was looking for.
Boom. It's not a hard knife to work on. Keep some semblance of order on where things are and don't do it on a YouTube video and you'll be just fine. I think in general, it's not the easiest one I've worked on, but it's also not hard. It's pretty intuitive. If you've done it once, you can do it pretty darn well. If I'm paying attention and not trying to look back and forth and do it on video and stuff, I have no problem working on this knife. Okay, and then let's get this really tightened down here. starting with the pulling, and you'll see this will actually pull in. So let me see if I can show you that here while I do it. This uh, pivot hardware will pull in as I tighten until it's flush. Okay, so I like to move it around and manipulate it a little bit before I start locking everything down tight. In fact, maybe I'm going to back that off a little bit. Get the uh, standoffs in tight first. And I do not go hard on this. This is, I don't know if you'd call it finger tight, but I'm not cranking these things. No need to, otherwise you might strip them. So everything comes in real nice here. Looks good. And then we'll go back and work on the pivot as sort of a final here and then we'll Shut this one down for the day. It probably ends up being 35 minute video. I feel like I might want to do a little bit of Loctite on this one. Okay, everything is feeling great. Just since it's been taken apart a couple times from Loctite might be nice, but man, that thing is feeling real nice. Does not need it. Yeah, this one's super duper smooth. You look familiar. All right, so original goat scales up for sale. Hit me up if you're interested in them. Demco 8020, welcome to the family. Super excited to have you here. Get these out of here. And uh, definitely a big thanks to the seller on this one, making it available. Very much appreciate that. So we now have a nice, clean, you know, as new 8020 in the collection with uh, the black G10. Really just want one of the titaniums and then calling it quits on the Demco collection, I think. Um, but pretty much got everything else that I'd wanted over time on the Demcos. So very exciting to uh, get this one in and get it back into its factory spec. Um, and very much looking forward to uh, taking a look at it off camera and making sure everything looks good, but there you go. Beauty here, oops. Quite the beauty. Luckily I'm getting a little natural sunlight in right now, so you can see some of that inflection in the tumbled 3V blade. You can even see a little bit in the pocket clip there. Let's 
super nice knife. Glad to have it. So that is that one. Feels fantastic. Action is perfecto. Boom. Another Demco 8020. Nothing to be mad about when that happens. Um, thanks for sticking through it. If you actually are here at the end of this video, I apologize for the back and forth on the 